platforms like Facebook and other, um, where, mainly Facebook. I mean, where do you get most of your information? From not Facebook. That's high school senior Ethan Lindenberger telling a Senate committee how he pursued scientific facts about vaccines and made the decision to become fully inoculated when he turned 18, defying his mother, who Ethan says developed strong anti-vaccine views largely from social media. For my mother, her love, affection and care as a parent was used to push an agenda to create a false distress. And these sources which spread misinformation should be the primary concern of the American people. The testimony came amid ongoing outbreaks of measles, a vaccine preventable disease. So far in 2019, the CDC has reported 206 cases of measles in 11 states, with outbreaks in Illinois, New York, Texas and Washington state. You thank you for your testimony. Tuesday's Senate hearing had one voice of dissent, Senator Rand Paul, who did not ask questions of the panel of doctors and experts, using the time instead to argue against mandatory vaccinations. I believe that the benefits of vaccines greatly outweigh the risks, but I still do not favor giving up on liberty for a false sense of security. Meanwhile, yet another huge study, this one of nearly 700,000 children, has once again debunked the claim that there is any link between the vaccine for measles, mumps and rubella and autism. Frustrated medical experts say that unfounded theory compels some parents to listen to fear rather than fact. Erica Edwards, NBC News.